Hey everyone, today we're going to have a look at the Microsoft Xbox PC xCloud test app or xCloud PC as we like to call it. This is effectively the same version as the Android app to allow you to play xCloud but on the PC. So this is a Windows app. You can see I'm using the Project xCloud setting here. You can use the remote play but at the moment the Series X is not supported. Apparently it works with the Xbox One X but I don't have one so I can only test it with the Series X. So looking through the settings, you can see we've got basic account settings and other little bits and pieces there. And the list here is quite long. The layout here is much closer to the Game Pass app on the Xbox than it is the xCloud app on Android. And we've got the search here as well, so we can search for control, which we're going to dive into first. And then we'll look at Dirt 5 and also Halo. So let's have a look at control. We get that nice full screen page giving all the details. I'm just going to skip the load, it doesn't take that long, it's just about a minute for the game to load. Now I thought I'd played this on the Xbox on Game Pass to have a look, but I had to start a new game. There is an issue where sometimes it doesn't pull through your save game, so just beware. But we can definitely see that we are getting that 1080 quality, which is a huge step up from the 720 if you have tried using the Android emulator on PC. Doesn't look like we've got the ray tracing effect here, so it's definitely the previous gen console still. But it does mean that you can play these titles just to have a look before you either install them on the console and you can see we've got a bit of a scanning effect there. It does seem to happen occasionally when you've been running around for a bit. We get a few pixelation effects but this is a very early beta and obviously this isn't for mainstream yet. If you do want to give this a try yourself then check out the link in the description below. Thanks to the guys at Cloud Gaming Extreme for letting us know how to get this installed. So controls looking very good, still plays very well. I had the controller plugged in. I found that using a wireless controller, I did get a little bit of input lag, but with the controller wired, and that was the Xbox Series X controller that was wired here, I didn't notice any input lag at all. This was much more apparent when I was playing Dirt 5, which we'll now go and have a look at. Again, we're not getting that 4K resolution. Obviously it's still capped at 1080. But again, with the controller plugged in, the input lag was minimal and it doesn't look too bad either. I was able to navigate the course quite happily and also get into first place, even after a few knocks. Now it's quite an easy game anyway, Dirt 5 compared to some of the other races. But again, if you want to just dive in and have a look, then xCloud on PC is a great way to do this even if you wanted to have a bit of a race before you actually installed it on console or while it's downloading. So one that everybody's going to probably want to hop into, Halo the Master Chief Collection. So we thought we'd give this a try as well. Again, it took around a minute to load the actual game. And once you were in, it was absolutely fine. Occasionally in the battle scenes, there was a few pixelation effects and that little overscan that we see occasionally, but I'm testing this in the UK and I can imagine that the test servers are in the US. So if you use this in the US with a wired controller, you're probably going to notice very little input lag and great quality. Overall, it's great to see Microsoft making huge strides on the xCloud front and then bringing it to PC just cements the fact that they are taking the service industry seriously. And we can't wait to see how xCloud evolves with Game Pass Ultimate moving forwards. If you do want to give this a try yourself, then check out the link in the description below. I'll leave you with some shooting action from Halo Reach here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things Xbox and Game Pass Ultimate. And we will see you next time.